Last week, we told you why Mesa County won't participate in a statewide effort to provide free bus fares this August. KRX5's Michael Lagerwell is in the studio with an update to that story. Michael. Jocelyn, I spoke with the Mesa County Regulatory Agency of Grand Valley Transit, and they told me they want to participate in the program, but simply couldn't handle it. Here's why. We want to make sure that we've got the resources to pull it off and for it to go well. Andrew Gingrich is a transit planner for Mesa County. Andrew told me Mesa County's transit agency doesn't have the resources to handle zero fare August, even with support from the state. And at the level we have, we're really maxed out with our drivers. So if there was an increase in our demand response side, we don't believe we'd really be able to handle that very well. It's not the money that's the problem. It's a lack of drivers and buses holding Grand Valley Transit back. The labor shortage has really uh, been a hindrance to a lot of industries, but transit especially. Andrew says the agency has been working at well below full staff and has since increased driver pay to $17 an hour. We're seeing some positive results from that. But drivers need buses, and that's a big problem. So we just got buses delivered now that we're supposed to be here last summer. More than one year waiting for buses while the rest of the fleet teeters towards retirement age. It takes more to keep on the road, but you know we take safety very seriously. We, um, we take our maintenance very seriously. Andrew told me he expects the buses that just got in should be on the streets in a few weeks. And while they aren't full-sized buses, they'll certainly take stress off the rest of the fleet. And hopefully next year, Grand Valley Transit will finally have enough drivers and buses to participate in free fares. Jocelyn.